getting things for my hospital bag. If I was a new mom, this would be great. It's so cute. This is the bag that I'm going to be bringing for myself. Oh, these feel really nice. Wow. I really wanted to bring it for the handprint and footprint. As far as the it is the Nelly's laundry soda. It has such great ingredients. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We are on a mission because I am here at Target. I'm gonna turn my car off, it's kind of, it's probably kind of loud, but it is such a rainy, dreary day. But anyway, we are here at Target because I am getting things for my hospital bag and also for my postpartum caddy and newborn station area that I'm gonna have in our bedroom. As far as my postpartum caddy, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go totally crazy because comparing what I needed with Everly to comparing what I needed with Truett is completely different because with Everly, I did tear, with Truett, I did not. It just started pouring. I want to get a lot of like travel size stuff when I'm in labor or when I'm getting ready to go in and be induced however this is gonna go I know my brain is not gonna be functioning at a hundred percent and so I just want to be able to pack absolutely as much as possible so that way I can just literally grab my bag and maybe have a few things like my camera I'm not gonna purchase another camera um, my phone, my wallet, things like that. But other than that, I don't wanna have to think about it. So I'm gonna be getting everything in like travel size. So that way it's just ready to go. Y'all, I have a good feeling that this baby might make an early appearance. I, I don't know, I could be totally wrong, but there's just been a lot of signs that are indicating things are already happening. I'm 34 and a half weeks pregnant and especially today, I've been very crampy on and off and just more, you know, TMI, but like discharge and things like that that just let you know that things are happening. I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. I just wanna be prepared, but I don't wanna tell myself that he's gonna be here early because if I do that, I feel like I will feel like I am pregnant forever. Also, the lightning crotch, you guys, has been in Sane. I actually do have an appointment right after this, so I need to hurry and get in there so that I have time to get everything done, but let's go. How precious is this newborn outfit? Thinking about getting this for his like announcement photos. It's so cute, oh my word. I think I'm gonna get this. Yep. Definitely wanna get water wipes. Oof. Dr. Brown is my favorite bottle. But I don't think I'm gonna get that today. I think I can wait on that. small one too if I was a new mom this would be great but I just don't think I need everything in here so and it's like 50 bucks <laughs> I don't know I have a storage caddy in there. Wow. Very cool. 
Thank you, Taco Bell. Like a chocolate classic combo. Hi. No, thank you. Can Order I just can I just get a single soft taco? One soft taco. Yes, ma'am. What else for you? That'll be it. Would you like to wear an exchange to go to that house for us? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I just got out of my appointment. Literally waited over an hour for a 10 minute appointment, but it's fine. Crazy because this will be my last bi weekly appointment, and then next time it'll be weekly appointments. So things are getting real. Okay, it is time to pack the hospital bag. I am now 35 and a half weeks. Right now I'm just kind of packing things that I can. There are definitely some things that I'm gonna have to wait like the day of, but they're very few things. And then I also have some things that are coming in the mail still. And then I'm on the fence about if I wanna bring certain things or not. So definitely going to be posting a what's in my hospital bag video once I get that all like down and established. But I wanted to go ahead and pack some of the things I am definite on and things that I don't need day to day. But before I continue with packing my diaper bag, I did want to thank today's sponsor. It is iFay. I am wearing their pajama set right now. They make the cutest family sets. It's a tradition in our family to have Christmas PJs, family PJs, and these ones are probably my favorite that we have gotten so far. I cannot tell you how comfortable this thing is. I mean, the fact that it's like fitting me this good at just about nine months pregnant, it's good, you guys. So the adult one is around $35 and the kid one is around $13. So a really good price as well. And they all look like this. Everly saw me wearing mine and she ran to put hers on and Truett actually wore his at church the other day. Our church did like a fun little pajama party for the kids last Sunday and he wore his set and he looked so stinking cute in it but I am very excited for us to wear these Christmas morning and to get some really cute family pics in it. We'll bring you a little bit closer here. But just this pattern I think is just so cute. I just love how vintage this feels to me. It's exactly what I was looking for, but it is like tighter at the bottom. So it has like that more jogger, which I really like, but they're super comfy. And I'll probably wear this after Christmas as well. <laughs> but they have many options to choose from. They also have a pets version, which I just saw that on my phone. I think that is so cute. So if you have a little pet, you can dress them up as well. But they not only have like Christmas family outfits, they also have swimsuits and they have mommy and me dresses, which me and I really have a mommy and me dress. And it is one of my favorites. Every time I wear it, we always get compliments in it. And I have never been disappointed in the quality. So definitely check them out, especially if you guys are looking for some Christmas family PJs this year. I will link them below for you guys. But thank you so much, Ife, for sponsoring today's video. For my diaper bag, this is the bag that I'm going to be bringing for myself. It's from the brand Mina Bay, is how I think you pronounce it. Such a good size and I love all the pockets and everything and then for baby boy hang on I'm just going to bring my trusted Lily BB bag I find it easier to bring separate bags for me and baby I just feel more organized that way it's easier to find things instead of trying to just like put it all in one bag and then TJ is going to bring a separate bag as well and that's the bag that will probably have snacks and I do want to bring like an extension cord I don't know if I want to bring an extension cord or just like an extra long charging cord because every single time we're in the hospital, we always have troubles with like reaching plugs to like charge our phone. And when you're in the hospital, there isn't a whole lot to do. So you're on your phone more and you definitely need a good charge. So I am going to pack my all time favorite nursing bra. So this is from Auden and I love this bra i think it was around 15 bucks too i really struggle with finding like nursing bras that i absolutely love i cannot stand the ones where you can like take the padding out 
those are such a pain because every time you wash them the padding gets all crazy and you have to like readjust it so i love this one because it doesn't have a wire in it but it does not have pads you can take out so they are in there and i also like that it's nude and it's not like super bulky because i feel like with nursing bras sometimes they can get so bulky so i plan to bring this one and i honestly might purchase another one just like this and just kind of go back and forth in between them and then also this waffle very lightweight robe this is definitely a must as well and then for my going outfit i plan to bring this outfit here so it's like a set this was from amazon it actually fits me now pregnant so i know it'll fit me after baby comes out and then i brought two different options of just like being in the hospital this one i wore after i had ev and i loved it it was very easy to nurse in very basic comfortable so i'm gonna bring this as an option and then also this one this one's just really pretty i wouldn't say it's probably as comfortable as the other one though so that's why i think i want to bring both because i just don't know i'm not gonna bring like a labor gown um i always just use what they have there it's one less thing for me to worry about so i am going to bring some very cozy socks i found these at walmart the other day oh i am going to bring um i'm wearing them right now but i am going to bring my slippers as well and then i actually purchased some outdoor type slippers that i'll probably bring with me like to the hospital and then like going home in those are coming in the mail and then for all my toiletries i've had this thing for a while now i really like it because you can like hang it in the bathroom so like on a drying rack or something day of i'm just gonna have to bring makeup i'm gonna have to bring maybe hair irons i don't plan on washing my hair maybe a curling iron if i want to like touch up after birth i don't know you just never know with birth if you're going to want to wash your hair or not so i'm going to go ahead and bring things as if i am but i don't really plan on actually washing my hair so as far as like hair things i'm definitely bringing some clips scrunchies a few bobby pins dry shampoo this is a must especially if i'm not planning on washing my hair definitely going to want this i have a travel toothbrush toothpaste and then this is everything for like my skincare got makeup remover wipes cleanser moisturizer this is so cute to me this little deodorant i think this is just adorable chapstick is definitely a must does not want to focus on it and then i do want to bring just like this handheld mirror i think that will just be easiest because honestly getting up to walk to the bathroom is one of the hardest things after birth so if i can just do whatever i need to do in bed that would be ideal definitely want to bring a headband i'll probably use this in like labor as well to get my hair out of my face i do have like three pairs of glasses so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and stick one in here that way i don't have to worry about it wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I did get some of these Freedom Mom disposable underwear. I'm really not going to bring a lot of things for myself postpartum because they are going to have everything there. But I might bring a pair of these. I also want to go ahead and get them out and like put in my postpartum caddy that I'm going to keep in our bathroom. Oh, these feel really nice. Wow. Okay. This is my first time looking at them. I might just bring like a couple pair of these. Not sure. I, I might honestly use these. I, these actually look really great and much better than the hospital ones. So I might bring a few of these. As far as for baby boy, I'm keeping it very minimal because they will have so much there that you really don't need a whole lot when it comes to baby and honestly when it comes for yourself postpartum they're gonna have 
mostly everything there as i showed at target this is planning to be his like announcement photos outfit so i'm definitely bringing this along with this little knit hat that i got off of etsy i think this is just so precious can you guys just envision it so cute and then i am going to bring another regular sleeper for him he might honestly just chill in the little white outfit that they give him i'll just bring this just to have because baby clothes are so small and if we don't use it we don't use it it's fine as far as his coming home outfit i got this little lulu and company set so it is this gingham pattern with these little bottoms and then it also came with this little hat right here it's kind of a tradition i got one for ev i got a pink one when she was born i got Truett a gray one it's kind of like this beigey gray and then now i got him this one so it's kind of like a little keepsake tradition to get these comfy jammies and oh my goodness if you've never felt the lulu and company outfits they are so soft. They're like that bamboo material. This one is from Kate Quinn and it also has that material as well. That's like my favorite. And then I'm gonna bring a few different nursing covers. I'm gonna bring this one because it has like that built-in wire. And if I do have family come in and I he needs to nurse, I will probably just use this, might not need it. And then I'm also going to bring this one as well. I've used this one for Truett and I loved it. This is a nursing cover, but also it um, you can use it for a car seat cover as well. So that's kind of why I'm bringing it, more so for a car seat cover. I am gonna bring some binkies for him. I do plan on using binkies. They always recommend binkies for safe sleep. True would not take a binky, so really hoping that this baby will because it makes all the difference, let me tell you. I'm going to bring the baby shusher. I don't know, I keep going back and forth about this. I do wanna bring some sort of sound machine. I have the dream egg one, so I might end up bringing that one, but because honestly, TJ and I have grown to really love the white noise when we sleep as well, so. Also, white noise is recommended for baby safe sleep as well. It just really like any background noise is good for baby and it just keeps them safer while they sleep. So, and then I'm going to bring some pacifier clips. And then I did purchase this nail trimmer. It's like an electric one. I've never had these with either of my babies before, but both of my babies always had very sharp, long fingernails when they were born. So I'm going to bring this to trim his nails down so he doesn't scratch his little face. And then I'm also going to bring his baby book. This one is, well, it's backwards. <laughs> I really wanted to bring it for the handprint and footprint. So I will get that when we're at the hospital. I'm also going to bring this very cozy gingham blanket. And then I think I am going to bring a swaddle but it's downstairs and I don't feel like grabbing it right now, so. But it's really just like a pretty swaddle for like photos and stuff because I don't know if I'm gonna bring like an actual swaddle that he, he'll use at home because they really have all of that there and I want to pack pretty minimally and just have everything ready for him when he gets home and clean, you know what I mean? Cause like after the hospital, you wanna like have everything washed so that way when we get home, He'll have that, you know what I'm saying? As far as detergent, I have been using this one. It is the Nelly's Laundry Soda, and it has such great ingredients. I've been using it for a few months now. It's sulfate free, scent free, no SLS or SLES, septic safe. I used to have like a separate one for our family and for like when the kids were babies and this just makes it easier. So it is a powder. You just need like a scoop. That's it. So I don't use like a softener or anything, but since that is fragrance free and I do like my clothes to smell good, I purchased these wool balls off of Amazon and then 
I also got this essential oil and I'll just put a few drops on like three or four of these and throw it in the dryer with them and it smells so good and then these also help with drying the like the process of drying as well i think i am going to go ahead and end today's video here my next video is probably going to be a giant haul of everything that i got for baby and then the next video will be the official hospital bag video which there's probably things that i have forgotten i already can think of a few things so <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and being here and supporting my family. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next one. Bye guys.